we have heard multiple times that the villain of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 4, aka the High Evolutionary, might just be one of the best villains in the MCU so far. Multiple cast members and the director James Gunn have said the same thing. And now the man playing the High Evolutionary says he believes this is going to be top tier MCU when it comes to villains. Whether he's going to turn out to be the most complex and best MCU character ever or the best MCU villain ever obviously remains to be seen. There is, naturally, a lot of um, apprehension when it comes to statements like this because, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to deliver considering there's been quite a few good and great and even superb villains in the MCU. On top of that, some characters who have honestly just transcended being who they are in any other medium and become iconic, like Captain America by Chris Evans and, of course, Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. So saying that this is going to be one of the most complex characters ever, one of the best villains, and that they're going to deliver on all fronts sets the bar pretty high. I, I know, you know, um, the Guardians, th that's a franchise that a lot of people love. People love Guardians 2 more than almost any film in the MCU, specifically because of the relationship with the villain. So maybe this can deliver. Again, in the comics, the High Evolutionary isn't exactly the biggest and best character around. At the same time, the MCU is always changing things around, and the more complex they can make him in terms of what you show the villain doing and how he balances out with the actual heroes and how integral he is to the human condition, I think could really put him into that realm. But, said it before, we here at the CBC, we're not the biggest fans of Guardians 2, so we're kind of looking at this film as optimistically... Cautiously optimistic is the best way to look at it. And I have no doubt that they're going to strike some gold with this, but I just hope that the runtime allows for it. Again, we heard countless times that Gore might be top three MCU villains. And, well, yeah, Gore has his moments, and at times he is. But then the rest of the movie around him doesn't necessarily deliver that type of a portrayal to really stick around and be as memorable. <laughs>